going to be a tutorial on how you mod farming simulator. I think I've done a video in the past, but I know there's a couple of people out there that don't know how, so I'm just if I have done it, I can't remember. I'm going to redo it. So if you guys looking way back. I know most of you aren't going to need it this, so if you don't need to, you might as well stop watching because that's all it's going to be. It's not going to be it's not going to be any gameplay per se. So the two websites I use mainly that I link in my video descriptions is FSUK, that's the address right there, and ModHoster. Majority of the time, these are only the ones I use. There is some other ones out there that I go to see what's there, but they mainly steal stuff from ModHoster or FSUK. So there's two different ways of doing this, sort of downloading the mods. So we'll just go... Uh, we'll pick a random mod. We'll go to implements. Actually... So you got sort of sub things here, so each one... We'll go to plows. Because I know this would do it. Okay, this is one that people will recommend me using my game and I've downloaded it, I've installed it. Now here. Some mods have three different things. You've got download the original link. So just for this I'll right click and I'll open a new tab so you can see what it is. This one is FSUK's way of just making it so much more simple. So you just hit download. And depending on your internet browser, I'm using Google Chrome, it will start downloading as you can see down here. So that should be in my downloads. So it's right there. We'll go back. And it looks like it didn't find the page on this one. Okay. Didn't do what I was expecting it to. Never mind. So this one here gets for uh, Mac OS users. I've never really used a Mac. I've got very minimal time using them. Don't like them. But all this does really is it downloads a RAR file. And I shall explain what I mean by a RAR file right now. We'll download it. There it is there. And we'll get back out of that one. We'll click on the version 1 of the plow. So I've got the original link. No it doesn't. I don't know how it's gonna download it. It's gonna do it that way. Right. So two main versions is an EXE file, executable file, and a zip file. Now there's a program called WinRAR and you can download it from the interwebs for free. I think it's just um, just type in WinRAR online and it's the first site. That's the legit one. I'm pretty sure of it. I recommend using this over any other program out there. There's many, but WinRAR is the best one. You double click on it. You don't need to do this, but you can see the contents of the file. But you don't really need to download it. So for the executable files, you just click. It's probably going to ask you this. I always click don't ask, but it always does. It's already installed for me, but it will just say it's in there. Do you want to uh, install it? Or it'll just install it and bang, done. Simple as that. We'll delete that because I've got no need for it anymore. Now, the RAR files like this. Now, you can just drag it around or right click copy. This is the 1.1 version that I've just installed in the executable file. So you go to my documents, my documents again, my games, and then farm is simulated 2013. Now here's all your game saves. And your mods folder. And you just go paste. For me it's going to say, hey, you've got it in there. Do you really want to replace it? No, why not? So there it is there. Let's just put it in there. And for people wondering how many mods I have, yeah, yeah, I got a lot. So that's a manual way of installing them. 
Now, with sites like ModHoster, that's the only way they come down, is in RAR files. So again, you've got multiple different ways to look for. The most reliable, decent mods are in the Featured section. So this is where you can find good mods. I'll go down to John Deere. Like Ego's Tractors. Both of it, well, all three of his sets. Featured. His American version featured, and so on. Now, some of them, I'll go down to this set, because I know it is, are direct download. So I'm not going to, because it is a big file. You just click download, it'll bring you to another page, and you'll start downloading it. A lot of the others, on the other hand, are like this. It's a third-party hosting, so obviously it's two different versions. So I'll click on that, and you just click on free download. Bear in mind, at this point, you're probably going to get hammered by pop-ups and ads. I have ad blocker installed. You can see it up there. So you just click and you wait the 30 seconds or more. And I'll wait it out just to demonstrate, so you can see what it's going to be coming down as. It's a damn near 30 meg file. And you do the same exact thing for maps and any other mod for farming simulator. You just got to be careful because some of them are for map makers and model makers, so they may not show up in game, but just read the descriptions. So there. And you just put in the text. I'm not going to do it because it's going to start downloading. I find sometimes they're difficult to read. Sometimes they're not too bad. A lot of them now seem to be numbers, so you can just refresh it until you find the one you want. You put it in and it will start appearing down there. It will come down as a RAR file, as you can see there, a compressed file, and you just drag and drop like I told you. Or copy and paste. So that is pretty much how you install mods. Extremely simple. Now, I'm going to do a video in a minute showing you how to put money into your game without do using mods. I, The mods are a very simple and easy way to do it, but I've always done it manually. So, hope you guys enjoyed, hope I helped you. Catch you guys later.